Rona in the Moon Rona was a beautiful woman who lived with her husband and their two sons in a little kainga beside the sea. Rona's husband loved her dearly, but sometimes her bad temper and her angry way of growling at him and their boys upset them all. One day, Rona's husband said to her, The moon is good for fishing tonight. I will take our boys with me to the island across the bay. There will be many fish to be caught there now. We won't be back until tomorrow night, so have a meal waiting for us when we return. They loaded their nets, lines, hooks and bait into a canoe and paddled away. The next day, Rona began to prepare the hangi oven to cook the meal in. First, she cleared out the ashes, embers and cooking stones from the pit dug into the ground that she would prepare the meal in. Then Rona built a stack of small sticks and dry leaves at the bottom of the pit. Over these she placed bigger branches and small logs. Next, she gently placed the cooking stones on the top of the pile of wood and lit the hangi with embers from the old fire. In those times, Māori people had to be very careful not to let their fires go out. The only way of starting a fire was to rub kaikomako and mahoi wood together. As it began to grow dark and the heated cooking stones glowed red, Rona could hear her family singing as they returned across the bay in their canoe. She was about to place the food on the hot stones when she discovered that her gourds were empty. She needed water to throw over the hot stones so the steam would cook the food. The singing voices across the bay grew louder and Rona knew that her family would be hungry. She snatched up the gourds and ran down the path to the spring, which was some distance away. It was dark by the time she got near to the end of the path. A full moon was shining and she could see clearly in its silvery light. Suddenly the moon went behind a cloud. It became so dark that Rona could not see the path. She stubbed her toe on a tree root and then crashed into a rock, bruising her shin. Rona was in so much pain and so angry at the moon for hiding his light that she shouted at him, Po kokohua, which means boil your head. This was a terrible curse and a great insult. The moon heard her rude words and came down from his place in the sky. He took hold of Rona and began to lift her from the ground. Rona grabbed hold of the upper branch of a nio tree and hung on to it as tightly as she could. The moon was so strong that the tree's roots were torn from the ground. Rona and the tree were carried far up into the sky. When Rona's family returned from their fishing trip, there was no sign of her. Their meal lay uncooked by the flickering flames of the oven. It wasn't until they looked up at the night sky that they realised their angry wife and mother had been rude once too often. There, on the face of the full moon, was Rona, with the nio tree and her gourds in her hands.